All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time you're watching orientation, I'm excited to be the first to welcome you to Texarkana College and this orientation experience. My name is Lee Williams III, and I'm the Director of Admissions and the Educational Opportunity Center here at Texarkana College. And you are in for a special treat because this is the first time that we're actually doing orientation on demand. Okay, Lee, so what does orientation on demand mean? It means you can watch this orientation experience any time you want to, beginning today on Tuesday, January 12th, 2021. And you'll be able to experience orientation all the way through January 18th at your convenience. And so I wanted to go over a couple of things with you about how orientation is gonna run this time. Um, orientation is scheduled around you. Um, and because it's scheduled around you, you can access our orientation 24-7 at our website at www.texarkanacollege.edu slash orientation. On that website, we have um, important resources for you to be able to get information about your class schedules. Um, we have COVID protocol information on that website. Um, we have uh, information for how you can log on to your MyTC account, check your TC email. All of that information is located at texacanacollege.edu slash orientation. If you're watching this experience live while we're streaming it on YouTube, you can actually use the comment boxes, make comments, and we'll be able to respond back to you as well. Um, we have orientation this time divided up into four different segments or parts, and we're going to go through that as well. Uh, we like to uh, tell you during orientation that we like to start with the end in mind. And for many of you, the end in mind is after you complete your certificate, or if you're in for your associate's degree, it will take you two years. So within one to two years, we want you to already see yourself in the future and see yourself in why ever you're here um, starting on this journey. And again, congratulations, you made it. This is the first start of your educational journey here at TC. And we're so happy that you're here in orientation. And we're so happy to be able to provide you with important information. Information. We anticipate if you're watching this entire experience that it's going to be about three hours. However, again, it's divided up into four parts, so you can watch it at your convenience. The only way you'll be able to receive full orientation credit is for you to complete the assessment. And the assessment is located, again, at that website, texarkanacollege.edu slash orientation. The assessment must be completed by Monday, January 18th at 1159 p.m. OK, so again, orientation assessments must be completed by Monday, January 18th, 2021 at 1159 p.m. Documents and resources are still available on that not on that um, site. And I also encourage you to take notes during this experience. If you have a cup of coffee, tea, water, whatever it is to get you through this experience, make it as comfortable for you as possible. All right, so let's go over the four parts. Um, part one, we have a welcome message from our TC president and then an academic overview from our vice president of instruction. Our dean of students will welcome you. And then we divided um, some encouraging chalk talks into four different parts. And so each session ends with a different chalk talk. Chalk talk number one talks about the power of your story. You have important stuff in your story that we want to be able to have you unpack even as you start your journey here as TC. Part two, we'll go over COVID protocols, and then we'll also talk about our campus safety, and the Chalk Talk video is stepping out of the box. Oftentimes, we box ourselves into these one boxes, and we never step out of our comfort zone. And so as you're starting this experience at TC, we want you to be uncomfortable because it's through your uncomfortability that you become uncomfortable and comfortable, and then you're able um, to build resources that way. Part three, we're going to go over arriving to thriving. Academic Commons does an overview. And then we also talk about the disability services that we have at TC. And finally, we give you some information from our educational partner um, at Texas A&M University, Texarkana. And then you have Chalk Talk 3, which is unapologetic work ethic. And then we go on to part four, which part four is one of the most important 
important parts of orientation because it talks about financial aid. It gives you all of the technical information that you're going to need to be able to navigate your way through TC and our virtual platform, even during this COVID time that we're all in. And then finally, our commit to complete ceremony, which kind of makes it official that you're committing to complete here at TC. And our last chalk talk is about seeing yourself in the future. When you see yourself in the future, it becomes easier to work through different obstacles and hindrances. All right, so we're at part one of orientation. Enjoy part one of orientation. What you can expect from part one is a welcome message from our TC president, an academic overview from our vice president, Dr. Donna McDaniel, and then a welcome from our dean of students, Mr. Robert Jones. Enjoy part one. Hello, I'm Jason Smith, president at Texarkana College, and I'm excited to be one of the first people to welcome you to Texarkana College. Although this spring semester may feel very different than any others in the past, I can assure you that together it will be successful and we will achieve great things. TC has been helping students just like you since 1927 and the day marks the day each of you will become part of TC's legacy of excellence. Starting today, you are building a brighter future for you, your family, and for our community. Earning a college degree or certificate is a turning point in a person's life. In today's competitive and technologically advanced workforce, it's more important than ever that you have chosen to invest in yourself and ensure you are prepared for your chosen career path and for a lifetime of learning. By the year 2030, the majority of new jobs in Texas will require education and training beyond high school. By earning your degree or certificate, you are helping to build up the base of our region's skilled and prepared workforce and securing a more stable financial future for yourself. These are endless possibilities available to you here at Texarkana College. I hope you discover, just like I have, that it feels like a family here. I also hope you take the time to get to know your fellow students and join groups that interest you. Chances are you chose to come to TC for the affordability or the convenient location, but what you will find here is a dedicated team of faculty and staff who care about you and will go above and beyond to help you on your path toward achieving your dreams of completion. Our faculty have years of experience and credentials that are unmatched in this region. You'd be hard pressed to find a better higher education opportunity anywhere else. We are glad you are here to see for yourself. So congratulations on taking your first step towards a brighter future. Greetings, happy orientation day. I am Dr. Donna McDaniel. I have the pleasure of serving as Vice President of Instruction at Texarkana College. I wanna share a little bit of information with you today about TC. We are so happy that you have decided to join your journey here at Texarkana College. So to start off, I wanna talk a little bit about um, our quality enhancement plan that we developed several years ago called Connect. Start smart, finish strong. And um, this is a quality enhancement plan that has three pieces. The first piece is a faculty advisor. So as all of you come to Texarkana College, you will be assigned a faculty advisor. When you ask students what the greatest asset of TC is, they're gonna tell you it's the faculty. Our faculty are amazing. They care about you, they want to see you be successful. So I encourage you throughout your journey at Texarkana College to talk to your faculty. If you have questions, concerns, talk to them, email them, reach out to them. So this faculty advisor is an opportunity for you to develop a relationship with one of our faculty members so that they can help you through the journey at Texarkana College. Next, the second piece of faculty advising, after faculty advising, is our Learning Frameworks course. Many of you, if you're starting off at Texarkana College, you will be entered in a Learning Frameworks course. Some of you may have taken it at dual credit, but many of you will be taking this course. This course is to help you develop great skills to be a great college student as well as a, a wonderful adult. We start out talking about um, financial literacy. We talk with you about what classes you're going to need at Texarkana College expanded to your transfer degree or what you will do to go into the workforce. We really do career investigations. We also um, 
talk to you about leadership. I call it personal leadership, about you being your best you. We follow the Stephen Covey Seven Habits of Highly Effective College Students as our textbook. It's a wonderful course taught by caring faculty members who their job is to make this first semester your best semester and to lead you into with steps and guidelines for you to have a successful career at Texarkana College. So we have faculty advising and we have learning frameworks course. The third piece of our quality enhancement plan is an early alert system. So what does that mean to you as a student? That means, hey, if you're not in class, we're gonna contact you. At Texarkana College, we take attendance. So um, your faculty are gonna notify you if you're missing class, and we also have other um, employees at TC who will contact you if you're not in class. Why do we do that? Because studies show for you to be the best you and to be successful in college, you need to be in class. You need to be in attendance. I know that this year attendance looks a little bit different. It may be virtual attendance, but you need to be virtually engaged. You need to be paying attention just as you were if you were sitting in a classroom. Some of you will be sitting in a classroom, but attendance is key to your success. From these three key pieces, faculty advising, learning frameworks course, and early alert system, we have uh, received some awards and some recognitions throughout the state. So I wanted to share a little bit of those with you. First of all, we, are an, we have won the Leah Maya Austin Award from Achieving the Dream. This is a national award that Texarkana College has received due to the good work that we have done in helping our students be successful. We have also been a leader in our completion rates. Two years ago, Texarkana College graduation rates were the highest in the state of Texas. Again, this past year, Texarkana College, highest graduation rate in the state of Texas. So we feel that those three things and why we ask you to do those three things is really key to our students being successful and completing because that's your goal. We want you to come here and get this great start and we're trying to lay out a wonderful pathway for you. But not only do we want you to be here at the beginning, we want you to be at graduation at the end. And so our job is to get you here and get you completed and graduated as quick as possible. So those are what those three steps try to help us accomplish. So here are our graduation rates. As you see, Texarkana College graduation rate is 49.7%, which is almost twice what it is in uh, if you average all the Texas community colleges. Now, we don't think 40 9.7% is the is best because we still have 50 more percent of our students we want to get complete. But it is our job to strive to be an asset to all of you and help guide you through this journey for you to be successful and complete at Texarkana College. So moving on, like I said, this semester is a little bit different. I wanted to share with you the four types of um, courses, the, the delivery of instruction that we have designed here at Texarkana College. Many of you have, may have seen it. We've sent it out in the mail. We've posted it on our website. And your advisor may have spoken with you about it. But I just want to make sure that you're clear because this will be the model that we'll be using for our spring semester. So I'm going to go into depth in each of these uh, methods just a little bit for just a moment. And you just follow with me, if you will. First of all, we have hands-on hybrid. This is designated with the HYB after your course number. And this is um, mostly for workforce courses and nursing courses. We do have some science labs that are using this method. But in this type of uh, instructional delivery, you will be required at some point in time to be on campus. Most of these courses require hands-on skills to be taught and practiced and mastered. So you will be on campus at certain times for these types of courses. The next one is Flex Campus. This is um, labeled as FLX, and this gives students an opportunity to choose. I can either be at home learning in this class or I can be in a classroom learning in this class. Now, of course, we practice social distancing. We're limited to the number of students can be in a class. And it may be that if you want to be in class, you may only be able to be there one day of the week. 
but you do have the opportunity to interact with your uh, instructor. So, but again, if you don't want to be in class or you need to get out because um, possibly you have an issue uh, in your family that you need to be working, uh, taking class from home online, uh, you would be able to log in virtually at that class. So it provides the best of both worlds. You can choose what option is best for you. Next is online on a schedule. This is considered as OOS, that's the designation after the course number. This class is, uh, you're going to log into your computer at the set time. So it's kind of like what you consider your traditional class. If you were in class from 8 to 9.20, sitting in a classroom, instead you're going to be sitting in front of your computer with all your classmates and your instructor learning online. So it's a virtual environment, but it is on a schedule. You must be in attendance and attendance will be taken. And the last one is online anytime. This is what's called a traditional online class. You can log in and do your classes at midnight if that's what works for you. Um, so there are, no, there are set deadlines for when homework is due, but there is no time that you have to log on and engage with your instructor. So that's our traditional online and it is called a web class. And we've been using this method of online instruction for many years at Texarkana College. So those are the four methods. Um, just wanted to share that with you. Make sure you're completely understanding the requirement for you for each of your classes. And I wanted to share with you that this year we do have a computer requirement uh, policy. So all of you may have heard and you may not have heard that after Thanksgiving break, we will be fully online. Our finals will be given online. So that is one of the reasons that you must have this type of computer. So this is our computer requirement policy. It lists all the requirements that the computer must have. It gives you the option that you can purchase these in our bookstore at a very, very, very low cost for a great computer. Um, we are selling these at the price that we get them. We're trying to pass on that to you. It's an excellent computer, and I encourage you, if you don't have one, to check out our TC bookstore. But these are the requirements and you must have a computer for beginning in the fall semester moving forward. Also, I want to talk to you about checking your TC email. So we're in this virtual environment. So we depend on email even more than we have in the past. So I tell students this every year at orientation to check your TC email regularly. But during this virtual environment, you need to check it even more. So some of the emails that you will get from Texarkana College is, um, one, your instructors. That's how they're going to get in touch with you. We send out what's called TC alerts. You should already be getting those TC alerts. This is just good information that we're sharing with you so that you know about the start of the semester, the things that we're doing to keep you and our faculty and staff safe during COVID-19. Um, for example, our class... Um, types, the course deliveries, those were sent out in a TC alert. So we are continuously sending out TC alerts. Next is a TC today. That's just kind of general information about events or things that are happening. Uh, maybe there's uh, flu shots are being uh, given here at this time and location. Those are just general emails that come from TC today. Your financial aid, they're going to contact you through um, email. Hey, money's important, money matters, so you need to be checking those emails. Your faculty advisors will be contacting you through your TC email. And then also, last but not least, we have a rave alert. These are emergency alerts that go out. They're done through a text messaging, but you can also receive them through an email. So those are just a few of the emails that are regularly sent out by Texarkana College. I cannot stress enough for you to take the time and read your emails. It is the primary mode of communication for us to you, especially during COVID-19. So last, I wanna share with you our COVID-19 student pledge. We're asking students to take this pledge to keep all of us safe here at Texarkana College. Your safety, our faculty and staff, is the, of most important to all of us. So here's the pledge, and um, I encourage you to go online and read it. Since being a part of the Texarkana College community means that each of us are accountable together 
must take extraordinary steps to stay well and persistently protect each other on campus and in the local area. I pledge to take responsibility for my own health and the protection of others, and I will help keep the TC community safe from the spread of COVID-19 by adhering to college instructions. I pledge to follow federal, state, and local guidelines and directives. I pledge to wear a face mask in common spaces indoors and wherever social distancing is difficult to maintain or as otherwise mandated by governmental authorities. I pledge to observe social distancing of six feet or as guidelines permit. I pledge to practice frequent hand washing and use hand sanitizer. I pledge not to gather in groups larger than the governor mandates. I pledge to observe personal hygiene and respiratory etiquette. I pledge to immediately contact the Texarkana College faculty and administration if I experience symptoms of COVID-19 or have been exposed and to follow all college directives for isolation and quarantine. I pledge to immediately notify TC Human Resources if I test positive for COVID-19. I recognize that being part of the TC community means my behavior affects everyone else on campus and the people of Texarkana, Texas. Therefore, I pledge to strive to exercise healthy discretion in my behaviors and habits and follow all of the guidelines for a healthier college environment for others and myself. I encourage you to please take this pledge along with all our faculty and staff to keep us all safe here at Texarkana College. Now last, I wanna show you my contact information. This is my office number that you can contact me if you have any questions or concerns. Again, thank you for your time. Welcome to Texarkana College. My door is always open if you need me. I'm Robert Jones, Dean of Students here at Texarkana College. And let me be one of the first to welcome you here to the spring semester at Texas County College. I hope that you have a enjoyable semester, even though we will be working under some different circumstances. The thing that I want to encourage you today is to remember, even though you may not come to school every day, we have rules and regulations here at Texas County College. And when you don't follow these rules and recommendation, then you have to come and see Dean Jones. And when people come and visit Dean Jones, it's either an enjoyable experience or one that they want to forget as soon as possible. We haven't had a lot of issues during this pandemic, but you got to remember, we're not in the wild, wild west, and you can't do everything that you want to do. But the main thing I'm here to tell you is about problems. When I got this job, the main thing that they told me to do was to handle the problems of our students. And I'm here now to tell you that if you have a problem, don't wait to try to get that problem resolved. Contact the Dean of Students Office. I may not be able to solve your problem that day, but I will start looking into it and give you an answer. But if you wait, sometimes the problems can't be fixed. So I'm here as a problem solver. The other thing that I want you to be aware of that I must encourage you is that you need to try to be active in something. We have some great students organization here at TC, and you need to find one that you want to be a part of. Going to college is more than just going to class. It's an opportunity to meet folks, to develop leadership skills, and you do that in our students' organizations. So, as I close, once again, let me just be aware of a couple of things. If you have a problem, contact Dean Jones. To beef up your resume, join a student organization. We have plenty. And the main thing is to have a great semester. Thank you.
You know we have power in our story. Power in your story. It's through our story that we're able to fuel our work. It's through our fueling of our work that we're able to develop our mission, our passion, and our vision. Yeah, each of you have mission, passion, and purpose. Learn your story. Enjoy your story. My story is unconventional because I really was never supposed to be sitting here today. Yeah, years ago, the doctors told my parents that they couldn't have kids. And yet, and still, I'm here. I'm sitting here, right here today, talking to you. And it's because of that story that I'm able to drive my work. I'm able to pay it forward. I'm able to empower and engage people like I've never thought I would have done before. You have power in your story. And because you have power in your story, you're enough. Love yourself. Ask for help when you need help. Develop relationships with others. But understand that because you have power in your story, you're transparent. You trust not only yourself, but you learn to trust others. And that in itself breaks down the barrier of fear. So learn your story, enjoy your story, be confident in your story, and have power and passion to let others know your story. Your story is gonna help you in this journey at Texarkana College, but it's not just gonna help you at Texarkana College. Your story is gonna help you as you move forward in life. Power in our story.